Holy shoot. Holy. I guess I don't get music for my moment to dance. Oh, sorry, I thought it was over. DJ, don't you play nothing slow. Gotta make them wanna, gotta make them wanna, gotta make them wanna come back for more. Keenan Road there on the right. DJ, don't you play nothing slow. I wonder if you could. Oh, that was. Well, that road was a little too hard, so we're gonna try the one over here. Deal with this. Build that one. That is a shame. What's going on, John? Uh, I just built this big TP fire. I think we're going to blaze her up. In about uh, one minute, we're going to come back to you and she'll be on fire. Laid all the sides from all different angles. I did put newspaper under here. If you're in a pinch, you can find some witch's hair, some dry sticks or kindling. We're lucky we had newspaper. That's all. Wow. That's our campsite. All right, I'm in charge of corn tonight. Nothing is better than campfire roasted corn on the stock. But we need to keep it juicy. So if you come along with me, we're going to go to the lake right here. And we're just going to... It's just a rocky bottom. It's just rocky, so no problem. We're just going to... Soak it. Yeah. Beautiful water. And we're just gonna just gonna let it sit there a little while. It's not going anywhere. There's no current. It's a big lake out there, people. Big lake. Can you see that? She's going good. We're starting a nice coal base because we got some trout. And some corn coming soon. And bologna. And bologna, you know, Tim. He's full of it, let me tell ya. Waka waka. Hello, I'm Jonathan Mess, and I'm gonna teach you how to cook a, a nice fresh brook trout caught off the fire, or caught, caught in a <laughs> main stream, and I'm gonna cook it over the fire. Um, we've got some heavy duty tin foil here and I've field stripped and you know got all the guts out of this beautiful fish. First thing I like to do is salt. If you have sea salt that's fine but you know that'd be great but you know any salt will do. We just want to add a little flavor and you know always plenty of flavor on the inside. 
Um, then I have a, a lot of different herbs. These are actually this is actually a little bit of dill, um, salmon, trout, dill. I don't like it too dilly because one of my favorite spices is this herbes de Provence, which is herbs from Provence, which is a region in France. Which, you know, in my opinion, makes some of the nicest culinary treats. And Herbes de Provence is probably one of my most favorites. Um, so just always, whatever you do, coat all the sides, but especially that inside. Don't forget the inside. So right here I've got a lot of garlic, which I've actually crushed with the knife. And I'm sort of picking it apart into these different sized chunks. I don't want to mince it, or you know, if you have any kind of garlic, will obviously do. But you know, generally, these big chunks will warm up real nice and flavor the inside of this thing. And is that a lot of garlic? Hell yeah, because we like it. Um, so I also like to squeeze sort of the butts of the lemons right into there. And maybe, actually, not maybe. Put a little, uh, we've got some special butter. You know, butter, margarine, any kind of fat, because I want this to sort of sizzle inside there. So I kind of smush that in there with it. Now lemon. Lemon, a couple lemons in there as well. We're gonna try and stuff this as full as it will go. You know what's funny right now? I actually feel burning on all the cuts that I got earlier today. Because this lemon. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Yeah. Don't be afraid to. Uh, Go to great lengths to cook your fish just right. So again, maybe these butts, I'll put one down to head and down to tail. It adds moisture, things don't over fry then. Maybe I'll take some of this butter again and just put some chunks on there. We have a knives for the butter, John. Oh, sorry, Tim. Tim is worried, you know, I'm a guy that likes to cook with my hands, to do things with my hands. Tim's, Tim's a uh, little bit of a germaphobe. And if you have those in your camp or your company, um, either just don't let them see what you're doing or wear plastic gloves, um, or use the proper utensils. But you know, this is not for wusses anyway. So, the folding is important because obviously you want to keep those juices in. So it's sort of like a burrito. I do fold the head and tail first. I want to make sure it stays in. And then we'll double back, we'll double back again. Remember, extra duty, extra heavy foil will make this special because it won't crumple up or have puncture wounds or anything like that. So, can you imagine what that's going to taste like once you put it on these coals and keep flipping it about every two minutes? Keep flipping it, keep flipping it, keep flipping it. And I would say anywhere from seven to ten minutes, and this thing is going to be unbelievable. And here, from the state of Maine. Well, looks like we have these ears of corn are done. So we can get these over here. Uh, this fish has been flipped once. I would say like maybe like seven, five, seven minutes the first side, three, five minutes the second side. Meanwhile, we've got some rice in here that we've put some, again, that herbs de Provence, some butter, um, and some salt and pepper. It's really good, and we hope to have some fish, rice, corn on the cob, and Tim's got got some onions for himself and some green peppers. You, you weren't going to have any? I might have some. 